Please note, if you've previously calibrated and adjusted the MIDI in transpose or MIDI note zero volts, you must reset the Model D to its factory settings before doing the following procedure. The details of using SISEX to send the reset command are shown on page 30 of the manual, which is available at Behringer.com. Hello, and welcome to the Model D Oscillator Tuning Guide. My name is Patrick from Behringer Technical Support, and I'll be taking you through these steps to tune the Model D, this one. So let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need for this. So you're going to want either a MIDI keyboard where you can play the notes directly, or you can use a DAW with a MIDI interface. Obviously, we're going to need a MIDI cable to connect these up. Uh, we're going to want a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the chassis. We also want a mini Phillips head screwdriver, which is insulated, so we can use this to turn the trim pots. Uh, and you want a patch cable and the optional tuner, along with some headphones or a speaker monitoring system of some sort. As a quick update, the early versions of the Model D feature single turn trim pots which use a mini Phillips head screwdriver as can be seen here on the left. The newer versions of the board now feature multi turn trim pots which can be seen here on the right and require instead a mini flat head screwdriver to adjust. Okay, so there are a couple of methods you can use to tune the Model D. We've actually built into the synth a digital 440Hz reference tone, that's obviously an A note. Um, and that's a perfect digital tone, so it'll always stay in tune. And then you would use your ear to match up the oscillators to that tone. Um, the other method is to use a tuner, and that's the method I'm going to use in this video. So you can use a guitar tuner, you could use an app on your phone, um, or a software tuner, any kind of tuner will do. And the reason I like this is because you can tweak or turn the trim pot whilst monitoring the pitch, visually monitoring the pitch on the tuner. So this is quite handy, so we'll go ahead and we'll use this method for the video. Okay, so next you want to use the Phillips head screwdriver and we'll unscrew the eight top chassis screws and we'll just put those in a pot so they don't roll around. After that we'll plug in the power and we'll leave the synth on for 30 minutes. That's to give a chance for the components to warm up before we do any calibration. And once it's warmed up we'll connect up the tuner here to the main out or you can use the mix out or you can use the outputs at the back, up to you. Connect your MIDI keyboard or your DAW to the MIDI input of the Model D. If you're using headphones, connect those to the headphone port. If you're using a monitoring system, connect those to one of the free outputs. Okay, so next up, we need to set the controls of the Model D a very specific way before we start the calibration. Um, so here in this diagram, you can see exactly how to set up those controls. Uh, it's available on page 15 of the manual, or if you like, you can just pause the video now. Now you notice in the diagram that the 440 hertz reference tone is actually switched on. Obviously, if you're using the tuner method to tune up the Model D, it's not needed, so go ahead and just turn it off. Okay, so now that the synth has been on for the last 30 minutes, the components have had a chance to warm up. Uh, we now need to do a maneuver here to get the top plate out and into a position where we can perform the calibration. So we want to turn off the synth before doing this maneuver and then once it's in place we want to turn the synth back on. We want to try and do this fairly quickly um, so the components don't have a chance to cool down. So what you'll need to do this is a box of some sort to provide some elevation. I'm using just a small cardboard box here. Then you'll want a piece of cardboard to put flat on top of that box. So I've cut this piece of cardboard to size and it leaves room for the cable connections on each side of the synth. Um, so carefully flip up the top plate of the synth. Um, and you want to be careful here. You don't want to snag on the ribbon cable or the output cable that's still connected. That's why you need to perform this kind of flip uh, maneuver. Um, and then you want to place it down on the cardboard box, place it flat, and then you want to turn on the synth again. Once this is done, we're now ready to start calibrating. Okay, so now that everything's set up and in place, we're ready to start the calibration process. Now we're calibrating oscillator one at this point, because that's what we've turned on in the controls. So with your MIDI keyboard or your DAW sequencer, you want to trigger an A5 note. So you want to keep that a constant note. Okay, so that's triggering now. So with your mini Phillips head screwdriver, we want to gently um, and lightly turn the trim pot OSC1 range. And we'll just turn that until we hit that perfect A note, as you can see here. Okay, so the next calibration we want to make is to the OSC1 scale. 
so first off we need to trigger an A2 note this time, so a lower note. Lightly turn the trim pot on the OSC1 scale until we hit that perfect A note. Okay, so we basically want to repeat this process between the oscillate one range and scale, again using the high A for the range and the low A for the scale, just making minor adjustments until you have a consistent pitch between those low and high notes. Now oscillator one is tuned, we can use the exact same method for oscillator two and three. All you need to do is carefully flip up the panel, turn on the oscillator you want to tune and make sure the others are switched off. Uh, here you can see where the oscillator two and three trim pots are on the board which are also labelled on the PCB. And once tuning is complete, we'll turn off the power, carefully flip the front plate back into the chassis, and lastly, screw in the eight chassis screws. So that rounds up the tuning of the oscillators for the Model D. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.